Twin Cities have a new pitcher, and his name is J.A. Happ. J.A. Happ signed a one-year, $8 million deal with the Twins. I do want to warn everybody that um, a physical is still pending. So depending, I'm pretty sure he'll pass the physical, but depending on how that goes, will determine whether he officially is like signed. But the signing is official, and he just has to go through the physical. I just want to remind people that. Uh, he spent two and a half seasons with the New York Yankees. Uh, he joins a pitching staff, and it's obviously a great pitching staff of Kenta Maeda, Jose Barrios, Michael Pineda, and the new additions of Hansel Robles, Jake Odor Odorizzi, and Rich Hill. I think that's a great pitching staff name. Yeah, I agree, man. Um, congratulations to Jay Hab. Congratulations to the Minnesota Twins. Yeah. See, this one, I don't know, man. This one's – um. Uh, how do I say it? I don't know. I, I can see Jay Happ as a bullpen pitcher. This is something you and I were talking about when Corey Cooper went to the Yankees. Right. I can't necessarily see him in the rotation because he's a guy that can only go like four innings, maybe maybe five at most. So I can I can see him as a bullpen pitcher. It's it's like what the Red Sox did with Drew Pomerantz. He was a starter, but then they put him in the bullpen. He was doing a lot better in the bullpen. So I think I think the Twins should mo focus more on uh, Jay Happ being a bullpen pitcher, in my opinion. Because like you said, you got you got um, Enzo Maeda. He came from the Dodgers. He's a veteran on this team. Jose Brio has been on this team for a while now. He's a great pitcher, very underrated. Michael Pineda, if he's not doing if he's not uh, cheating with the damn pine car, he's a good pitcher too. So I mean. I don't know, and, and also Rich Hill, another veteran on that on the uh, starting rotation. So I can't really see Jay Happ being a part of the starting rotation. I can see him in the bullpen. No, I think that would be a great fit for him. Right, and I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Despite him having a better 2020 and 2019, I think he's on the downhill, I'm being honest. Like, last year he went 2-2. Two and two. He had a 3.47 ERA in nine starts, and he and I mean, the year before he was 12-8, and eight and he had a 4.91 ERA. So these two years are definitely showing kind of his downfall. And I think J.A. Happ's always been an up-and-down pitcher. Personally, I think it's it's a, it's a downfall. Can I say that's a fact? No, because, again, he's always been an up-and-down pitcher. I mean, he does have he does have a little bit of success in the league. He is a one-time All-Star. He has a career record of 123-92 with a 3.98 ERA. I mean, he's he is a veteran. He's played for many teams. He's played for the Astros, Mariners, Phillies, Pirates, Blue Jays, and obviously the Yankees. But, I mean, when you really look at J.A. Happ, I don't know. I kind of see the downhill coming. Right, right. And I hope it don't happen because I think J.A. Happ, and when he's on, he is on. I think he is one of them guys that, like, you know, when he's on, he's on. And when he's off, he's, like, completely off the rocker. That's what I think of J.A. Happ. And I absolutely agree with you. I think they should really consider putting him in the bullpen as a reliever. Because, like you said, I mean, Kenta Maeda, first of all, is amazing. I think that's a guy that – if when the Mookie Betts trade happened with the Red Sox, I think that was a guy that the Red Sox should have took. Kent to Maeda, at least. But they didn't do that. Um, but that's not a, that's not about the Red Sox. Jose Barrios, fantastic pitcher, man. I'm sorry, but Jose Barrios, to me, looks like a few. He, he's a stud. Put it that way. Very underrated. It's very simple like that. I mean, Michael Pineda, again, he, what, he, he was like, correct me if I'm wrong, he was top five, I think, this year or last year. He was like top five, and I think K's or something. Something like. Oh that. no, it might have been ERA. It might have been ERA. He, I think he might. It was ERA or K's. I can't remember. He was top five in something. Like that. I can't necessarily remember off the top of my head. But it was an important pitching stat where where uh, Pineda was top five in a year or two ago. I mean, and then you add Rich Hill. Obviously, he's a veteran, but I think Rich Hill is another guy kind of going down, starting to take that downhill as well. Right. Hanson Robles and Jacob Odorisi. I think they got. A very bright future. I do. Absolutely. So, but I mean, this is this is what I'm talking about, though. Jay Happ, I think, should be a reliever because honestly, I don't think he was a threat on the Yankees. When you look at who they had, when you look at, when you look at, um, I'm trying to think, when you look at Luis Severino and you look at James Paxson and you Eric look at Cole. Eric Cole, Masahiro Tanaka. Eric Cole, Masahiro Tanaka, right. Um, Domingo Herman. I even thought Domingo Herman was a bigger, bigger threat than him. Because at least Domingo Herman had like all those Ks. Yeah. So when you really so when you really look at it, Jay Happ, I'm starting to see that downhill. But I mean, you know what? Again, a career can easily be revived by being a reliever. Absolutely. It can be like that's it's not impossible. 
like you said, with Drew Pomerantz. And I mean, there's so many other pitchers that went from starting to relieving so quick and they ended up becoming great relievers. So, I mean, when you really look, when you really think about it, I mean, first of all, congratulations to Jay Happ on signing with the Minnesota Twins. And the one thing I love about the Minnesota Twins, the Minnesota Twins are my second favorite team in the league behind the Red Sox. The one thing I love about the Minnesota Twins is that they make it to the playoffs every year, right? They end up falling short, but they're never like, all right, let's rebuild. They're never like that. They're always head on. Let me get the best free agent possible. So they they lost in um, the wild card, I think, two years ago. Okay, let's get Kenta Maeda. Okay, we don't make it this year. Let's get Jay Happ. If they don't make it next year, I guarantee you they're going to be back at it. That's what I love about the Minnesota Twins. They're just head on with everything. And I mean, the Twin Cities is obviously a great place. It's a very cold place, but it's a great place. It's a, it's a place that deserves a lot of love for sports. And I mean, I hope J.A. Happ can be that, that like ignition to like kind of start the car up in Minnesota. That's the best way I can describe it. This car, like it kind of starts and like you can, you can drive it, but it doesn't take, it's not full speed ahead. Right, right. You're starting to get the speed ahead. But I think Jay Happ is a is a good small step. I don't think it's the biggest step. I think it's a good small step. And honestly, I'm curious to see how the Twins are going to do with him. And I'm curious to see what type of role he's going to play with the Twins.